End of the alley. Isaac's inside. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the Deb of Night. Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and turn the radio into bed. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 323 KL5 5 Oh. Looks like somebody's been waiting Welcome in the to Red quite Spot. a while to Home speak to yours truly. Charge. 72 ounces so caller, of your favorite you beverage for 89 cents. Uh, blah, blah. Uh, you need help or something? Insects. As in you have an insect problem, or chirping crickets or keep it or keep it you um, up, or humility? you have nightmares Seriously. about them. Seriously. Help me out. Do you want some orange oh, juice no, or no. something to help you come down? Because, like, asleep, you're wigging. They can crawl into your mouth or your ears or, or your nose. Oh, you are you that lawyer? You're, you're going to have I mean, to talk to the manager, dude, well, because, do? like, that sexual harassment case, I, like, don't even know. Uh, I, I, okay? I read something. And, like, I don't know where. But do you know the average person eats several pounds of insect a year? Like, 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 the majority of that weight is composed of roaches, ants, and spiders. Just knowing that as soon as you close your eyes, a big fat centipede is going to drop into your mouth or mouth and crawl oh, down uh. your throat. <laughs> I can't, I can't do Always. It. I never you should come out and night. see my band. No, they voluntarily eat insects. We're playing tomorrow night countries. at the crematorium. Yeah. No well, cover for really place. So, you never sleep at night. I assume you do sleep, right? right? Yeah. Uh, the sleep is And what exactly They don't let me in anymore. I'm a middle school damn, teacher. That right. would explain why it's my like nephew invested that 20 I sent him uh, for his birthday on magic thing, beans. I mean. It's always good to know that the future of our country is in good hands, isn't it? Uh, oh hey, you know, Let's you should really ask me about Caller, the special, you know? what do you do for a living? I'm Roger. Okay, and what do you do, Roger? Uh, uh, um, no, 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 man. So you have you really written any about the movies special. I might have seen? Well, I actually haven't finished, finished, finished any screenplay I'm glad you asked that, I baby. See. So, Seeing have you done any other kinds of writing? Well, just some I got this special right where you buy some really expensive burrito tops or grape juice. You get free <laughs> weapon in your so chest, right? So, if you haven't really you written interested? anything, how can you call yourself a writer? Because I once fixed my toilet doesn't make me a plumber, right? Is there anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves a writer or actor or director? Don't you think you're doing a disservice to those who actually make their living in those art forms by deeming yourself something you're not or not even trained to do? Um, well, I think I'm pretty good at knowing what's good writing from bad writing. Well, wouldn't that make you a critic? Let's see if anyone else agrees. Line two, are you ready for a menage a trois? Sure thing, Deb. And would you please state what you do? flatbread and olive oil, and take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes, and then bring it out with the ziti. Okay? I wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening, and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Hello. Now go get yourself some onion rings or hot wings or whatever it is you eat. The refined palate of a true gourmand is, oh, to put it in a language you can relate to, trying to decide if this place is thumbs up or thumbs down. Me, Tony Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, Shower hour? Maybe if I review more pancake cuts, you'd know me. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. What? This place will pay for this. As sure as my name is Tommy Clayton, they'll never serve food in this town again.
Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. It's me, Samantha, don't you? Did you suffer amnesia, is that it? Let me make a call, we'll, we'll get everybody together, we, we can talk, maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Kelly? Holy crap, you got big! I'm sorry I flushed you, I thought you were dead. Oh, what's it like to be a turtle? Can I give you a hug, Shelly? Well, it was nice seeing you again, Shelly. We should get together for the holidays. Call me, okay? Yeah? What do you want? What? Blood Baron? What the hell? Who are 
you. Didn't Isaacson... Ah, damn. You must have the wrong guy. I don't know what you're talking about. Get lost. Tape? What tape? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm getting the hell out of here. All right. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. I, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing, it's sick. It, it can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl, the things that are happening to her, it just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows. My phone rings. I hear something breathing on the other end and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger's swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. What the? Oh, Christ! <gasps> Good time. Hand me the item. Hmm. Did he at least make a good excuse? Ginger Swan. Swan. Hmm. Not an animal. A name. Brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. That depends. Believe in an afterlife? Ginger Swan's been dead since the 50s. 20 years after, there were still grown men weeping at her grave. I don't know how she's relevant, but I have faith you will figure it out. Well there, sugar puss. Might want to think about knocking next time I damn near blew your head off. Thought you might be a zombie. Who else would be waltzing in here in the middle of the night? Name's Romero. I'm the caretaker here. Well, that is, I don't exactly keep people from getting in. Although that is part of my job. No. You see, I'm here to make sure nothing gets out. See, it's like this. Every night around this time for the past, 
Oh, several months now. The dead have been getting up with an inch to stroll down Hollywood Boulevard. Nobody knows why, but they're working on it. Till they figured out, they needed a volunteer to patch the problem, and I stepped forward. Problem temporarily solved. The Baron's happy. I get to shoot zombies, and guarantee I get my blood for another month. I've carved out a nice niche here. You're telling me. As far as I know, I'm the only person around Hollywood who considers marksmanship an art. A lot of the stiffs around here used to be asshole celebrities, too. Bonus. I love my job, what can I say? By the way... Hey, you wouldn't be interested in watching the place while I go handle some business, would you? I'm not supposed to leave or it might end up in a zombie holocaust or something. Like one time these goths snuck in? Ooh. Wasn't pretty. Ah, uh, you know, I know you're technically dead and all, but God damn, you are one striking looking piece of ass. Where were you when you were still breathing, huh? I don't suppose you'd still be interested in a little, uh... Business, right. I was thinking I'd head up to the strip and look for a dance partner for the old naughty tango. But, uh, you're kind of giving me the hot, uh, want to save me a trip? Really? I mean, really. Just don't bite it, alright? What? I mean my neck. Still don't have it, do you? I didn't doubt you'd find this, and I apologize if I was overly imperious before. 
A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... This tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us, however. more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Behind the spit-shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Hey, uh, hot pants. <laughs> prince of porn? Yeah. Flynn, the prince of porn, the senator of smut, the duke of depravity. I like you, honey. You're a little weird, but hey, this is Hollywood. The name's Flynn. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment. Anything you want, you can get at the sin bin. Depraved ain't a four-letter word here. You know what I'm talking about? The sin bin? Oh, we've got filth of every flavor. Just tell me what makes your bits tingle, honey. I'll set you right up. Yeah? What do you want to know? Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? Really? You a cop? All right, listen. I'll tell you a little bit, but if anyone comes asking, you never heard it from me. They produce only the most hardcore video. I'm not even talking black market here, more like black hole market. Not the kind of product you want to get mixed up in. The kind of stuff that gets you put in jail for just talking about it, alright? Snuff Films is just the tip of the iceberg. I only seen one of their videos, and I swear I couldn't eat for a week. What? Man, you must be on some trip right now. Hey, can you hear me? Ah, lost you there for a sec. You were, you know, philosophizing about reality or something. You should really lay off that stuff for a while. Real enough that every cop in five states has been trying to track these guys down. They are bad news, pal. 
You want some advice from me? Stop thinking whatever you're thinking and get your ass back to Kansas. Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, get the hell out of here! Okay. Look. All I know is that a guy calls on the payphone down the street every once in a while. He'll say something like, The moon is a terrible mistress, or some creepy shit like that. And then all you have to say is, who walks the night with demons of dread. Supposedly you'll be told where to meet the guy to pick up product. I don't know for sure. I, uh, I never tried it. It scared the shit out of me. Hey, wait. Look, you might as well know this. Word on the street is that they didn't even make the video. They're just distributing it. No one even knows where it comes from. I'm telling you, man. Whatever you're in, get out of it now. Star Motel, Room 2, Don't Be Long.
Jesus, man, what the what the fuck is going on up there? Dead, everyone slaughtered up. Oh, don't, don't make any noise. They'll, they'll hear us. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, no, I, fuck it. Yeah, I'm with DMP, you 5-0. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, but we didn't make that shit. I, uh, one of the guys stole it, uh, found it in the creepy house in the hills. We just copied it and put our names on it. Worse than anything we ever did. Worst thing I ever saw. Some of it, yeah, it, it was it was bad, but you know, no one ever really mattered. J junkies, runaways, most mostly doing them a favor. Please, please, just, just get me out of here. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! doubt the work of a fiend. Hand me the tape. There might be something on it that will give us some insight into what its motives are. in the tape. I know it. It's in the hills. King's Way, if I'm not mistaken. My guess is that the fiend that made this tape is using these creatures to hound the Nosferatu, which would explain their sudden absence. They're trapped. Well, it's unfortunate that the prince needs you to see the Nosferatu, because it looks like this fiend knows how to get at them, and I doubt he's going to draw a map for you. Looks like King's Way is your only way in, unfortunately. I can have a car drop you off when you're ready. If I don't hear from the Nosferatu within the next few nights, I'll tell LaCroix he's going to need a new leading lady and march a few of my own troops up there. If I may give you one final word of warning, do not trust LaCroix. Do not play the damned politics of the Camarilla. This city hasn't needed them in a long time, and won't ever. That's for you to decide. I only know who you can't trust. <laughs> 